Hello gamers, welcome back to my channel. I am Tin Man Season 610 and I am grateful you're all here. Um, if you would please uh, hit that subscribe that, that subscribe and the thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. Okay, to continue. Wait, you know what? I was calling this video Means to the Madness. I'm thinking this series should be called Fishing North Atlantic 101 because we're learning a we're learning a whole lot here. We really are. But I'll still be the captain of the ship uh, to continue this journey. All right. Um, so what are we gonna learn? Well, how about learning how to upgrade a boat? Uh, more about bait. Uh, more about uh, managing a crew, uh, fast time management, and how to catch a whole lot of fish. So what do you say? Let's go get this done, all right? So we left off here, we have the ocean runner. Um, this, like I said before, this is a really good boat. So what we need to do is we need to get this thing set up. Um, but the problem we have is we have $47,000. We need a lot more than that to max everything out. So we're going to rigging. Okay, we're already set up for, for uh, we're set up for, for deep lines. Um, now we're going to buy our deep line. Okay, we can, we can have up to 40. So what I'm thinking is maybe we just buy okay so eight lines gave us half a million dollars right so 18 would give us a million so what do you say we run 30 um so that would give us enough money to buy the ocean runner i'm sorry to, to, to buy the um uh, double trouble and hopefully we have enough money to do this barely okay all right so what we're gonna have to do now is um, I don't want to take out a loan that's the whole part of this I don't want to take out a loan um, okay so here's what we can do we're going to sell um, we're gonna sell 10 of these Okay. And then we're going to go down here to the dock, go to upgrades, and we got to have the autopilot. That's what we just say we have to have it. No questions that we have to have it. It gives us six thousand dollars left over. Um make sure that our crew member is on the boat and there's Mr. Smith. So we're good there. Okay, let's go down here to the bar, and we'll get the tuna. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to run 20 lines, um, which should give us enough to buy uh, Double Trouble. So let's get out and get this done, and we are going to go find us some fish. Okay, we got fish right there. That's four days ago. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive out of here. And, you know, I'll bring you back when we're actually uh, there in the air. We're going to drop the lines. Bring right back. All right. So we need to get our cruise or our autopilot going. There's our autopilot. I'll come back out here. Come to here. And we are ready to drop some lines, ladies and gentlemen. Dropping lines. So we have 20. I'm thinking we should drop. Yeah, we'll drop all 20. If, if we can actually stay on the fish, we'll drop all 20.
and then we'll take them in, we'll sell them, and then we'll do a big update on this thing. We'll get everything bought when you get bought, and we'll be good to go. So I hope everybody's doing well. And I hope you're enjoying this uh, this series. So we have we have two more boats to purchase. We have the Double Trouble, as I said, and then we have the Arctic Pioneer. Um, now the Arctic Pioneer is going to be the doozy one. That is five billion dollars, a little over five million. So that's what we really got to work at. And I think we're, I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll, there we go. We're going to get a few more fish, we are. You know, let me get these dropped out, uh, and then we'll, we'll bring you back in when we're ready, actually ready to catch the fish. So what I've done <clears throat> is we dropped the first 10, okay, and I waited uh, 14 hours. So we fast, we fast time 14 hours, uh, and we dropped the last 10. Okay, so right now we're at 16 hours. What we need to do now is we need to um, fast time for another, oh, let's say three hours. Where are we at now? Okay, 19 hours. Okay, that's perfect. All right, now we need to get Mr. Smith up and ready to rock and roll. I'm going to go bring some fish. Um, so you notice the buoy when I was talking about um, they're yellow, they're red, and you can occasionally you can see a blink, uh, a light on there. So these are a lot easier to see than the ones you get for free or the ones that already come with it. So that's why I say I would spend the four thousand on getting these buoys because they're they're great. So we're coming for our first one here, and I think what I'll do is I'll I'll, I'll bring in like two or three lines you can kind of remember uh, what I was talking about um, bringing the lines in the little game um, that's included in it and I'm trying to you know trying to hit that perfect little circle um, and then we'll just we'll fill the boat up and then I'll bring you guys back okay oh I missed that first one was a miss Sorry, Mr. Smith, I'm not doing real good at this. Oh, I forgot the canopy on this one. If you notice, this boat does not go very fast. So it's a, it's a very small motor. It doesn't have a whole lot of fuel. Um, you don't want to venture a long ways with this. You really don't. Uh, that's what I was saying. It'd be so much better to get that uh, double trouble because it's a lot bigger boat. Um, I don't think it's as... Um, I think it's a little bit shorter because I, I do believe this one here is 65 feet and the double trouble I think it's like 59 feet um, but I mean just everything else in it is so much bigger well except for the gutting like I said the gutting on this is a two person gutter gut machine and the one on the double trouble is a one person you, you, you'd almost see the developers would want to put um, the two-person getting machine on the double trouble because that can haul um, let's see I think that one can haul 110,000 pounds and this one here can only haul like 88,000 or something like that um, 
so we're we're doing real good right now we are at uh, 3,000 out of 44,000 pounds now we're not going to fill the boat up not even come close but we just need enough money to update this boat and then you know head back out there and, and try to get that uh, try that double trouble now is is it possible that we can make enough money just off this run right here to buy the double trouble yeah it's probably it, it could be possible and if it's possible we're going to do that um, but I am not going to hold my breath if there's something else in here that you're wanting me to um, you know during the series you want me to really focus on please send it please uh, uh, get give me some kind of information that you, you know, what, what you're actually wanting from me and and uh, how I can you know make, make send me a comment just tell me tell me kind of what you're looking for and um, and I'll, I'll try to work on that because um, you know we're, we're all learning with this game but again I, I do believe the de developers did a great job with this game they really did well we are at 5,991 pounds um, why don't I bring you back in when we've got the boat filled up um, because I mean this is gonna be kind of boring here real quick just watch me um, attempt to hit that perfect little hole or that perfect little dot for the bullseye so I can get perfects now again what I was saying before like Mr. Smith if you notice he's supposed to be right there with me when I get the fish so it's actually supposed to be both of us bringing the fish in not just me and you know that's why I say the more he works at this uh, the better off he's going to be all right I'll be right back okay ladies and gentlemen here we are over the last one the 20th we're at 15,551 pounds um, you know I, I think what we can do is well if this boat would ever speed up enough to get to the buoy um, we're gonna go to Yarmouth and we're gonna sell that Yarmouth because remember that's the highest pay right now um, and then we'll see what we're at for money wise because I'm thinking that we might be able to go straight into uh, buying the um, the double trouble now I know some people would say hey look why would you even get rid of the Mickey if you made five hundred thousand dollars off of the Mickey your first time around then you could have ran two more times or three more times the Mickey and and make the money well you know what you could you absolutely could um, but the way I'm looking at is if you um, if you want to upgrade that boat then you're really going to have to make sure that you've got enough money to upgrade it because all you're going to be able to do is just buy the double trouble and not be able to update anything um, so I'm going to go and turn on the autopilot and then we'll take a tour of the boat so there is Mr. Smith cooking um, here's kind of where you sit down at there's binoculars and this is where the crew goes into you can't go in there um, you have two doors to come in and out this right here is where you would actually do the line fishing the long line uh, the gutting machine I do believe sits here or right here I can't remember exactly and then this must be like a bathroom for the crew but you can't go in there okay so that's kind of what it looks like here on the the double or the uh, ocean runner okay let's get there to the earth
Okay, so let's go and put Mr. Smith to rest. And we'll see what we got. Oh my gosh, you, you look at that. $1.5 million. What do you say we just go and buy the double trouble? I, I, I think I like that idea. Let's just go, let's just go get it. Let's just go. That right there is the ocean or the uh, Arctic Pioneer. That's the one we're that's right there is the one we're trying to get. Um, and that one is over in oh the one north of us. So we're gonna go up here to um, Inglehead. This is where the Double Trouble is based out of. Now, like I said, there are buoys um, out here. We might even pass one. Um, it'll be like a, a circle with a question mark on it. Um, and then you just kind of just angle yourself over towards it. And you're good to go. There should be one right there, right there it is. Okay, we're on uh, Gill's head. All right, so we're down here to dock, shipyard, available. And there she is, right there. So, um, see where it says the max weight is 110,000 pounds. Uh, it's got a 350 horse motor. It does 15 knots. Okay, you can haul um, 30 uh, 5,000 hook lines, uh, 30 120 millimeter uh, or meter nets, and then 80 depth lines. All right. Um, so 88,000 is max out for this boat it is a little bigger it's a little longer um but see it only does it only does 10 knots um 30 30 50 and 40 for depth line so all in all you can get a lot more fish um with this one here so we'll go and buy it and then we'll do like we did with the mickey is we'll come back in we will um activate it and then we'll go up and we'll sell all the lines and then we'll start doing some updates okay now we're going to go ahead and sell it we don't need it no more that gives us nine hundred thousand dollars Okay, let's do some upgrades. Okay, so we need to upgrade the storage. We need to upgrade the motor. Uh, sonar, yeah. Uh, definitely got to have that. Got to have that. The buoy. Um, let's go ahead and get the, the gutting machine. Um, and then the thruster, the side thruster is really, really nice to have. And you know what, I'm going to go ahead and buy this one here to kind of just show you that um, it's not really a whole lot better, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll still try it. We'll, get, we'll, we'll give it a shot. All right, so we got to make sure that we are rigged. Okay, we're not. Now we are. That's another 15,000. Um, but this is kind of cool. You can do you can do lobsters with this also. Uh, Jan or December 1st, I think, is when lobster season comes in. All right, so we can use 80 lines. We can buy 80 lines. We had 20. So I'm thinking, let's just go ahead and buy 40. And that way we can drop 20 and then drop another 20 and kind of see where we're at. Okay, all these are going to be herring. And we still have $529,000 left over. 
All right, now we need to hire us another person. Um, you know what? Victor looks great. Yeah, he's not the greatest in the world at anything, but, you know, like I showed you, um, you know, his last video, you can fix that. Um, so we'll come down here to crew. We've got the money. Why not? And we will take Mr. Smith. Uh, we want him to do uh, deep lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Mr. Walker will do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so they're all equal. Um, let's get them to cook because they really need to start cooking. And we'll get, uh, okay, he can cook, so we'll have him repair. All right, we are good. Now let's go into the bar, find our tips, nothing there. Okay. Uh, I like to run with my lights on all the time because, you know, God knows you're going to need them. All right. Um, so I guess a real quick review of this. This boat here, the other reason why I like this boat is that is your clock for fast time. You don't have to get out of the seat. You don't have to walk around. Um, the seat does, the seat will raise up. It, it will it will raise up and it will move forward so that's kind of a little fun feature um, this is the uh, the bridge and then you can come down here a little ladder here so you can walk this little plank area um, there's you know really nothing else up here except for if you wanted to maybe do like a lookout or whatever um, and then this is where the actions at all right so let's get back over here where these where these two are Did I, did I put someone cooking? I did not put anybody cooking. Alright, well let's put him cooking. Because they're going to need to eat. <clears throat> and we're going to fast we're gonna fast time over to here. Now I try to get that my line right smack dab in the middle of them. Where I want the cruise control on. And we're going to need to put um, Mr. Smith down here to start um, laying out lines. Oh, you know what? I forgot to. Well, that was pretty smart of me. The autopilot's on, but I never set the speed. All right, now we got speed. how much faster this boat here is especially when you upgrade the motor so we can haul in uh, 110,231 pounds if we could fill this boat up with, with uh, tuna that would be a payday that would be an awesome payday Ladies and gentlemen, I will bring you back when I get uh, most of these dropped, right? Okay. 
right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> number 40, our last pod, our last line we got to pick up. And right now we are at 70,578,000 ,70 pounds. So we get this line here picked up, and we'll get over to Yarmouth because uh, the price there is still $30 a pound. Um, and let's see what we can actually do here. All right, so I'm I'm pretty positive on this one here. I I, I think we're going to be getting really close. Um, so like I was saying, um, it's thirty dollars and four cents a pound at Yarmouth. So I think I think we might have enough money to actually buy the Arctic Pioneer. Now, can we upgrade it all the way? Probably not. No, I don't think we. I don't think we'll actually have the money to do it. But it'll be a good start, and I think uh, we'll get that bought, and we'll call this a video. And in the next video, we will take the Arctic Pioneer, and we'll do some fishing with that. Okay, so here we are. Um, let's get our crew put away because I know they're going to be tired they just brought in 40 lines and okay so they are betting here's a moment of truth okay we got three million dollars all right well didn't do as well as I thought so three million five hundred three thousand dollars what we have um, I'm thinking next video we will uh, go out we'll try to drop another you know what we might do is the next time around we might drop some long lines for some redfish and then we'll drop another 40 um, deep line for tuna and see if we can get enough money up to get the lunar or get to get the uh, Arctic Pioneer so uh, I apologize the first the first video was um, over 40 minutes and I, and I said I want to keep these about 30 um, so we'll go and call this now and I hope you're all safe and okay uh, wherever you're at whatever time of day it is and I hope you're all blessed all right have a nice day